So today I'm going to tell you about my guitar. As you can see, this is a guitar. It is the classical type of guitar. It has three main parts. The first part is called the headstock. Second part is called the fretboard. And the third part is called the body. The headstock has these little switches that we call the tuners. These tuners connect to these strings. Some guitars may have 12 strings, but mine only has 6. The first string, this one, is called the E string. Second string is called the A string. Third string is called the D string. Fourth, the G string. Fifth, the B string. And lastly, the high E string. Then we go on to the fretboard. This fretboard is a place where you can put your fingers to make different chord shapes. In guitar, there are many chord variations. Some examples are C chord, G chord, E minor chord, and A minor chord. Those chords are called the open chords, but there are some variation called the bar chords. Some examples are G bar chord, A bar chord, and B bar chord. So as you can see, there are two types of G chord called the G bar chord and the G open chord. They sound the same but have different flavors to their sound. Then we go into the body. This big hole on the body that you see is called the sound hole. It functions as a place where the sounds you play on the guitar can resonate within it and comes out louder so you can hear it clearly. In guitar playing, there are two, two variations of playing. The first one is called finger picking and the second one is called strumming. In finger picking, you play by picking the strings like this. The second one is called strumming. The strumming one you play by strums by you strumming the strings like this. These two type of playing uh, can connect when you play with a band. If you play finger picking, it is mostly recommended for playing solo, and by playing strumming, it is most recommended when you have a singer with you. That's all about the guitar. Thanks for listening.